I'm Danielle Kernkamp. Here's what we're tracking this Thursday. Future graduates, listen up because today is the day you have a chance to find out more about your future careers. The Rubble Bank Convention Center is hosting the second annual Career Expo today. It's one of the largest job fair and expos in the country. Multiple agencies are coming together for the event, like America's Job Center and the Kern High School District. They're inviting students and young adults to attend for free. Come dress to impress and bring plenty of copies of your resume. It's happening at Robble Bank from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. Cal State Bakersfield is taking things to the next level. The Student Recreation Center unveiled its Challenge course, which boasts a high ropes course and several others that challenge not just your body, but your spirit. It's a whopping 25 feet in the air. To put that in perspective, that's about as tall as a two-story house. Meantime, following a series of strong February storms, the Department of Water Resources is set to conduct its third water survey of 2019. Today, the department will be measuring water content in the snowpack to get an indicator on the water supply. That information is critical to the water managers who allocate California's natural water resources to regions downstream. Scheduled to take place today at 11 a.m. Now let's get a quick check of your Thursday forecast with Elena Russ. Yeah, looking at all that snow makes you think of winter, right? And we are feeling a little bit more like spring until this morning. Suddenly we had winter like fog forming out there. It has improved since the overnight hours. It's about a mile and a half of visibility here in Bakersfield early this morning, but still some low hanging clouds making for bad visibility over the grapevine. And it's interesting that we can get fog to form when it's really quite late in the season. We're in the 50s this morning instead of the more fog prone 40s. And there's still some cloud cover and some past showers, which has a little bit of a breeze. And so typically in an environment like this, we just can't get that fog recipe. But nonetheless, it has formed. I love Kern County so stubborn when it comes to textbook weather. With that, this fog should only last until about 9 a.m. Quickly dissipating. These showers are tapering off as well. And you're going to see that in our future cast with some slowly clearing skies later this afternoon. More passing clouds tomorrow ahead of our next chance of rain coming on Saturday. This is a warm system, so it does look to trigger the chance for some thunderstorms and instability heading into especially those afternoon hours. That's going to pass on out Sunday. Monday, there's a chance of rain. It's looking a little bit more likely Tuesday. This is our next atmospheric river event. And for now, it's trying to head straight toward Kern County. So Tuesday into Wednesday does look to be wet down into Southern California. This could be a mudslide threat by early Wednesday. And then you see Wednesday into Thursday. Still that chance of showers continuing until we clear out next Friday, a week from tomorrow. This is how it looks in that 10 day forecast. 68 today, 67 tomorrow. Those showers on Saturday with the threat of thunderstorms. Here we are Tuesday into Wednesday, an atmospheric river type system, which does look quite wet for us, and then still some continuing showers Thursday into early Friday, clearing out Friday afternoon with some cooler air filling in behind that system and then bouncing quickly back to those 60s by next Saturday. Elena, thank you. That's going to do it for this update. Enjoy your Thursday morning.